Hey guys, welcome back to WebDementors YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video, we're going to see something more on functions. The first thing is I'm going to show you something on the parameters of the functions. The next thing is I'm going to show you how to add default values for the parameters in your functions. So let's create a function first, function with params. Now we've already seen how to add a single parameter and also multiple parameters. Now what happens if you have no idea of how many parameters is going to be given? Now there is one way to do that as well. Use star args r params. Okay, so this means that it creates a tuple of values that you can pass through. Now, how to actually find it? Let's actually find how many arguments or parameters that you're passing for a function. So let's actually use params oops len of params. So let's actually ah, just keep pressing that home button which is actually sending me to the top. Now returned value. I'm going to print the return value with function with params. Right now I have to add some parameters in here. So this is web dev mentors channel. Let's run this using Python run and see what is the value. So we got it it came as a tuple we counted it now what to do in here so we can actually join this and make it as a single string how to do that let's actually show you a very you know for i in length of four no length of parameters now this is going to be a little bit tricky oops ah keep pressing that damn now I'm going to use params of i. Sorry, let's create a variable first. Content is equal to this. Content plus equal to params of i. Now I'm going to finally return the value. We have to come out of the for loop return content let's see what is going to be the result oops it had something wrong in here so float object has no attribute then that's bad isn't it let's actually do this I'm making something wrong anyway just let's go to this itself directly range of I'm sorry I just uh, used a way <laughs> I'm extremely sorry why I did it that is because of the Ruby languages that I use so I'm extremely sorry for that let's actually add a space in here let's run it you can see that we have created a very bad way of doing this Now, how to do this in a much more simpler manner? So, as I said, not the best way to do it, how to do it in the best manner. Now, there is a way for doing this. Let's actually show you space dot join and use the iterable there. So, params in here. So, this should work if all the values in your tuple is you know is a string so let's actually use this let's remove this I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not but let's me test it okay so don't accuse me it works now the reason why I'm using this is this is going to be used as the join what to say the separator 
you can call it as a separator or as a join parameter so this is going to be added between each of these string inside the tuple now the join method joins each of the values inside the tuple using this space in between them now this will not work for one place where like if you have an integer in here when you run it you'll be having issues because this takes up only string okay so how to handle this now there's one simple single line pythonic way of doing this is string off params of i or you can directly go for i if i get the value in i itself so for i in params now this will get you out of the issue so it doesn't matter what value you are having in here it will convert it typecast it so this is called as typecasting which we'll be seeing later on in the videos or later on in the series so this is something that you have to learn so this will come in handy for situations like this so we're converting our one into a string first and then using them in our join methods so this is a very important way of doing it now let's get to the default values in here let me remove this params at a comma b comma c comma d and uh, we just have to change it in here as well a plus b plus c plus d now this is going to give you an error because we are having an integer in here so let me actually change it let's run it and you will be having a continuous string yes of course you have to add the space but I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to concentrate on the default values in it. let me actually add a default value in the middle of my parameters in my function so when I run it you'll definitely see an error let me show you what is there here we go syntax error non default argument follows default argument so this is the problem see you can't have some default argument for a parameter that precedes a parameter that doesn't have a default value so let me add something in here as well so channel let's run it you should oops what happened I don't know let's actually run it now it's working fine so let me actually remove these two values and run it you still have the values so what happens if I add none in here it's not gonna work well you might have the question like why not none but none is considered as an object in here so any object will be considered as a value for your parameter and it will be send to the function lines the code inside the function that is the block of codes inside the function so you will be having issues so that is something that you have to keep in your mind while writing the code so don't use none for like default values or something so that's not going to work out for you so running it again so this is how you add default values so don't just simply go and add a default value in the middle of your function saying that okay I'll add a default value for the second parameter and that'll work well it's not gonna work you have to add default values for the upcoming or else the parameters that comes after the parameter for which you have added the default values so this is something that you have to keep in your mind and also make sure that if you have added a default value for the second parameter and third and fourth parameters not having a default value just think over it how would you just skip the second parameter and go for the third and fourth parameter if you're not going to use that none how, how is it going to be possible so that is the reason why Python will give you that error it doesn't want to get into a confusion that okay what should I consider the none is not going to be a type that I can accept at the same time if you're skipping the second parameter second variable and going to the third one how could I identify whether I should take it as a second one or else the third one now you might say that okay the first two 
the second one is having default value so if there is only three parameters then take up the first one for first one second one give a default value you know take the default value as the value for the second parameter the third and fourth parameter will be the second and third parameter that you've given in the method well, what happens if you're giving like a default value for the first one a default value for the third one and you're giving three values which one to take for which one that's going to be really confusing for both Python and for you as well later on in the period like you come back again after 15 days and see your code oh my god shit that's going to be a problem well thank you for watching this video guys uh, I know some places you might felt like okay this is boring he's just expanding it but once you start using this in your programming language or else in your program in Python you will know the difficulty because I've done few mistakes which I'm trying to make sure that you're not going to do but if you're doing it well don't worry it's something happens for everyone well let's see in the next video guys thank you for watching and please don't forget to like the video and also share the video with your friends and anyone you think will be benefited by this video and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and if you have any comments suggestions or feedback please feel free to leave them in the comment section or else you can contact me through the Facebook page Twitter feed or else Google Plus page so if you want to find the links for them they are all there in the description section let's see in the next video guys thank you for watching keep watching the series